In today's video we're going to take a look at the rear axle box covers. I've got a piece of cast iron here which is just big enough to get two of those if we're careful. So we need to uh, machine them down to size. A nice job for the shaper. Okay, we've got it down to about three millimeters there but I want to get it down to 1.5 millimeters which is a bit difficult to hold in the vise so I'm going to hot glue it to a plate I've put a lip on here so I can put that against the lip and the shape I can cut it against the lip and a bit of extra security so I'll just degrease that a little bit the edge off Okay, that's them off the shaper. So you're probably wondering why on earth don't I just cut some 16 gauge or 1.5 millimeter thick uh, mild steel sheet and save all this trouble? Well, I could have done, but the reason is I want to engrave these, and engraving cast iron with a 0.2 millimeter cutter or an 8th thou cutter is a lot easier than cutting mild steel and also they're going to be painted so I didn't want to use aluminium or brass so when you look at the uh, cover plates there's no lettering or markings on them at all but I thought it would be nice to add something to the model so I thought I would like to add just some reference to the original manufacturer Todd Kitson and Laird and put TDL on here and they were from Leeds so I had Leeds and it's just a nice finishing touch. It's going to be a bit tricky though. So this is where the CNC comes in handy to do some engraving. Same straight off the CNC machine. I 
I've marked the positions of the six bolts that hold this onto the axle box. So we have a position for drilling, which will be the next job. Okay, I've just given those a coat of salt black high temperature paint. So the idea now is to actually hot glue them onto uh, the axle boxes and then drill through these holes into the axle box and lock tight some pins in place. And the end of the pin is to be slotted to make it look like a screw.
So I'm just using my lining pen here, which I made uh, quite a while ago now. I have two or three videos how to make this pen. So it's not doing a bad job filling this paint in. Still needs a little bit of titivating up, but I think I'll let that dry. So to make the key look a little bit better, I'll just put some black paint on a needle. This is a sewing needle. And just gently filled in the part that was uh, not quite right. And there's a little speck of grey there where I've messed with the drill. Just touch that up. Bit on the ass there. The D there. I think what that'll do for now. One point two on the money. These scissor type uh, clamps are really good for holding small parts securely. We've got like a ratchet mechanism here, which holds it in a clamped position. So I'm just putting little pins in that I made to look like screws and I'm just lock tightening them in with some uh, 642 Loctite. So it's a fiddly job. 